If there is one thing that we have learned about the NBA over the last year or so, it is that the youthful, high-level talent across the league is at an all-time high. So many players have made a name for themselves, not only as the leaders of their respective teams, but as superstars across the NBA. These are the top 10 players in the league right now that are 24 years old or younger. First is Anthony Edwards, Minnesota Timberwolves. The number one overall pick in 2020, Anthony Edwards has continued to prove why he is a future all-star in this league and why he was the first overall selection last season. With the Minnesota Timberwolves this year, Edwards averaged 21.3 points, 4.8 rebounds, and shot 35.7% from the floor. Along with Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell, the second-year wing helped elevate Minnesota back to the playoffs for the first time since 2018. An elite-level athlete on the wing, Anthony Edwards is a complete mismatch for smaller guards that draw him as their assignment defensively in this league. He plays well above the rim, and Edwards took a massive leap in terms of his shooting numbers this season, increasing his three-point shooting percentage from 32.9% in 2020-2021 to 35.7% this year, scoring over 30 points eight different times this season, including a career-high 49 points against the San Antonio Spurs on April 7th. Anthony Edwards has all the tools to be a first-time All-Star during the 2022-2023 season. Next, we have Zion Williamson, New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, I I know you're going to roll your eyes seeing Zion Williamson on this list after sitting out the entire 2021-22 season due to a foot injury, but everything seems to be trending in the right direction for him to be 100% for the start of the next season. When healthy, Zion is a freak athlete that really does not have a set position. He is built like an NFL linebacker. Very few players in this league are as strong as Williamson, and when he gets in the paint, you might as well just put two points up on the scoreboard for the New Orleans Pelicans. How Zion Williamson looks after after his foot injury and sitting out this entire year is a major question mark entering the offseason, but in terms of sheer talent, the 21-year-old forward has a chance to become the best player in the league one day. Let's move on to Trey Young, Atlanta Hawks. When he came into the league in 2018 out of Oklahoma, Trey Young was already an electric scorer on the offensive end of the floor, and over the last four seasons, he has morphed into one of the best playmakers and facilitators in the entire NBA. This season, Young averaged 28.4 points per game fourth in the NBA, and became the first player to lead the league in both total points, 2,155, and total assists, 737, since Nate Tiny Archibald did so during the 1972-73 season, taking the Atlanta Hawks to the Eastern Conference Finals a season ago. Trey Young is an elite-level offensive talent that has a chance to deliver a title to Atlanta one day. In terms of being a pure point guard, Young checks off all the boxes and is almost like a younger version of Chris Paul, given his ability to score and dish out assists at a high level. The only difference is that the Hawks guard is a very strong three-point shooter that can extend his range way beyond the three-point line. Trey Young is a top point guard in the league right now, and being just 23 years old, he has yet to reach the prime of his career, which is a very scary thought. We can't leave out Shy Gilgius Alexander, the Oklahoma City Thunder. He may have led the Oklahoma City Thunder to only 46 combined wins as their best player the last two seasons, but he is on the verge of becoming an NBA all-star and creating the league's next best dynasty in Oklahoma City. This year, his season was cut short due to injuries, but in 56 games, he recorded career highs in points, 24.5, rebounds, 5, assists, 5.9, and field goals made per game, 8.5. He would have ranked 12th in the league in scoring if he met the minimum game qualifications, and his 8.5 shots made per game would have ranked 15th in the NBA. Next is Ja Morant, Memphis Grizzlies. In an interview with Hoop Hype's Michael Scotto at the beginning of the 2021-22 season, John Morant claimed that he would rank himself as a top five point guard in the NBA. Well, after the year he just had and currently in the midst of the playoffs, it is fair to say that Morant has lived up to the expectations he placed on himself. John Morant is must-see TV every single time the Memphis Grizzlies play, and after averaging 27.4 points, 5.7 rebounds, and 6.7 assists in 57 regular season games this season, Morant was named the NBA's most improved player. A first-time All-Star this year, Morant continues to amaze due to his insane athletic abilities and extremely high basketball IQ. Arguably the best athlete in the league right now, Morant is the only player in NBA history to have won the Rookie of the Year and the Most Improved Player Awards. This season, the Grizzlies point guard also became the first guard to lead the league in paint scoring since the NBA started tracking the stat in 1996-97. Since Shaquille O'Neal in 2005, only two players 
have scored inside more than Jaw in a single season, and those two players are Giannis Antetokounmpo and Zion Williamson, according to StatMuse. Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Kevin Durant are just a few of the superstars in this league that people pay thousands of dollars just to be able to see. Ja Morant has added his name to this illustrious list given what he has done this season. As we approach the end, we have Jason Tatum, Boston Celtics. If you asked all 30 NBA general managers who they would want to start a franchise with right now, some of them would say Ja Morant, and others may say who is number one on this list. But a vast majority of executives would agree that Jason Tatum has some of the most long-term superstar-like potential out of any player in the league. It is crazy to believe that Tatum is only 24 years old, especially since he has been in the league since 2017. The Boston Celtics All-Star continues to develop into one of the best spot-up scorers in the entire NBA, and while their games are completely different from one another, there are some serious comparisons between the mid-range dominance of Kevin Durant and that of Tatum. Recording at least 30 points in a game 29 different times this season, Tatum ranked fifth in this category amongst all active players, and he also recorded five games with at least 40 points. On March 6th against the Brooklyn Nets, Tatum scored 54 points, joining Hall of Famer Larry Bird for the most 50-point performances for in a single season in Celtics history. From January 29th to the end of 2021-22 regular season, Tatum led the Celtics to a 26-6 record, and Boston went on to sweep Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets in the first round of the playoffs. Whether they advance to the NBA Finals this season, Jason Tatum has cemented himself as one of the best scorers in the league. Still being very young, Tatum is going to be a problem and an MVP candidate in this league for quite some time. Finally, we have Luka Doncic, Dallas Mavericks. You really cannot make an argument for anyone else to be number one overall on this list other than Luka Doncic. Through just four seasons in the league, Doncic has not only turned himself into one of the greatest international players of all time, but he is one of the faces of the NBA right now. There is nothing that Luka Doncic cannot do, and while he does have a slow style of play and is not the best athlete, the Mavericks guard is as talented and as skilled as anyone else in the NBA right now. A true MVP candidate, what seems like every single year, Doncic is the epitome of a player you would want to start a new franchise with, simply because he makes those around him better. Not only can you count on Doncic to go for 30 points on any given night, he is a true triple-double-like threat with the ball in his hands, and some of the passes he makes finding his teammates are jaw-dropping. This season, Luka Doncic played in a total of 65 regular season games, and he averaged 28.4 points, 9.1 rebounds, 8.7 assists, and shot 45.7% from the floor, 35.3% from three-point range on about 8.8 .8 attempts from deep per game, leading Dallas in scoring, rebounding, assists, steals, efficiency rating, win shares, you name it, Doncic probably leads the Mavericks in it. He is a little too young to have been named on the NBA's 75th anniversary team this year, which is probably why he was left off the list, but just a couple of years from now, we are going to have some serious conversations about if Doncic is a top 25 player, if not better, in NBA history. Luka Doncic will win at least one MVP award in his career, and much like Dirk Nowitzki did, Doncic has the ability to single-handedly lead the Dallas Mavericks to a title in the future. That is all the time we have for today, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more great NBA news. Till next time, cheers!